Welcome to Seminar 1. In this video, we're going to do three things. We'll give you an overview of what we will be covering during the course this term. We'll talk about the two databases that we'll be focusing on using in the course. And finally, we'll talk about the company that we're using as our ongoing case study during the term. It's Katmandu, who are an outdoor clothing and equipment retailer. First, what will we cover in the course? Business analysis and valuation focuses on the analysis of financial information found primarily, but not exclusively, in the financial reports of firms. Fundamental analysis techniques are examined in detail, with a particular emphasis on the application of these techniques in equity or share valuation decisions. Attention is also given to credit assessment and debt issuance decisions. The techniques are applied in cases and projects involving listed companies. There's a specific focus on data analytics throughout the course. The course takes a structured approach to our analytical tasks. We systematically go through four key analytical steps. The order of these is important. We begin with business strategy analysis. In short, we ask how does the business make money and what are the prospects for it making money in the future? This step covers both industry analysis and how a firm positions itself within the industry. This first step will give us a sense of what we expect to see when we look at the numbers. You'll see this illustrated in the first additional reading posted from Fortune magazine. The financial statements, or a company's key ratios that we calculate from the financial statements, won't make sense without having the context of the conditions in which the business operates. We ask these sorts of questions. Are sales seasonal or cyclical? What drives the demand for the product or services? Is the business capital intensive or people intensive? Are the assets of the business long term or do they get replaced regularly? Is the business attractive to lenders who would provide debt financing? All of these questions lead to our second analytical step, accounting analysis. Our key question here is examining the extent to which the financial statements do a good or a bad job of reflecting the underlying business economics. This is a function of how well the accounting rules allow a business to reflect its performance and the extent to which the rules provide managers with discretion in their accounting decisions. Once we have an understanding of how the business makes money and the extent to which that is reflected in the financial statements, we commence our financial analysis. This is our third analytical step and involves the systematic assessment of recent financial performance. We typically start with an overall message of performance like return on equity. Our final analytical task is prospective analysis. This involves taking everything we know about the business, its accounting and its recent performance and trying to predict the future, as reflected in the financial statements. We can then use those forecasts in a variety of contexts. A particularly important context is valuing the firm. Our primary approach in this course is equity valuation, but we also cover enterprise or asset valuation. We then see how these four analytical steps can be applied in a variety of contexts, investment management, credit analysis, and the analysis of M&As. The second thing I wanted to mention was two main databases that we will use to obtain financial statement information. The first is the FactSet database. If you are enrolled in the course by mid-May, then you should have received an email from FactSet sent to your UNSW email address with your account details. Please see Moodle on what to do if you have not received this email. We will be making use of FactSet throughout the term. It provides a lot of information about listed companies. The other database we will use is Morningstar's Data Analysis Database. You can access this through the UNSW Library webpage. It also contains financial statement and other information about listed companies. Data Analysis focuses on Australian and New Zealand companies. We will have a brief look at both of these databases during our scheduled seminar time this coming week. Make sure you've been able to log on to FactSet beforehand so that you can follow along. Finally, we will be looking at one company in detail throughout the term as we progress through our analytical steps. This term we're using Kathmandu. They're an outdoor clothing and equipment retailer. They've recently bought into Oboz, a US-based footwear company, and in 2019 bought the surfwear company Rip Curl. It's obviously an interesting time for retailers, so we'll be thinking carefully about industry conditions and the implications that they have on Kathmandu's accounting, 
and particularly our forecast for Kathmandu's future performance. If you're able to visit a shopping mall, see if you can find a Kathmandu store. Have a look at what they sell and have a look at the way they sell it. Are things heavily marked down at the moment? Have a look at their website. One of the things that we'll be considering is the shift between sales from physical stores to online sales. We'll keep track of Kathmandu information in a dedicated section on the course Moodle page. As we progressively analyse Kathmandu, you should be able to apply the same lens to the company that you're examining for the major project. Once you've finished going through the materials for this week, please let us know what part of the weekly content you'd like us to focus on most during the seminar session. You can do this in the survey we have linked just below this video. We're looking forward to seeing you online or in person soon.